after two intensive Starship integrated flight tests, Elon Musk and SpaceX are resolutely fixed on establishing a Martian base. But before they set their sights on the Red Planet, this renowned CEO and the aerospace giant are laying the groundwork right here on Earth, crafting a base in Boca Chica, Texas. Yes, you heard that right, it's named Starbase. A new beacon now graces the launch complex wall, proudly emblazoned with the words Gateway to Mars. This title rings familiar, yet it echoes SpaceX's unwavering dedication to the audacious ambition of conquering Mars. Cast your mind back to 2014. Under a tent near Boca Chica Beach, just outside of Brownsville, Musk envisioned this facility, SpaceX's inaugural private site, as a potential launch pad for humanity first steps on Mars. It very well could be the first person to go to another planet could launch from this location, Musk said. This is really going to be a new kind of spaceport that is optimized for commercial operations. Cape Canaveral and Cape Vandenberg are great launch sites, but they are military launch sites. What's important for the future of space exploration is to have a truly commercial launch site, just as we have commercial airports. It is the first optimized for Starship, which can transport satellites, payloads, crew, and cargo to a variety of orbits and Earth, lunar, or Martian landing sites, the company said on its site. SpaceX marked a pivotal moment with a groundbreaking ceremony for the new launch facility in September of 2014. Initiating soil preparation just a year later in October of 2015. Starbase stands tall alongside a public road, guiding the way to a beach open to all. This road welcomes anyone, offering space for parking. Beyond SpaceX's territory, demarcated by fences and private property signs, lies an open expanse for exploration. In the grand chronicles of SpaceX's journey, the inaugural tracking antenna graced the grounds in August of 2016, heralding the dawn of a new era. The arrival of the premier propellant tank, a monumental event, was witnessed in July of 2018. In the late throes of 2018, construction surged, birthing the maiden nine meter diameter prototype Starhopper, a true marvel tested and flown from March to August of 2019. Since the dawn of 2020, Starship has graced the skies above Starbase, teasing the horizons with multiple suborbital flights, showcasing an unmatched aerial ballet, a spectacle indeed as Starship, akin to a celestial acrobat, elegantly descends belly first, guided by its nimble flaps before a graceful vertical vertical landing. This innovative flight methodology, devoid of wings and tailplanes, shields the craft from the inferno of orbital re-entry, curtails propellant usage, and opens gateways to celestial realms bereft of landing strips. 2021 heralded the emergence of a colossal structure, the Launch and Catch Tower. Towering nearly 480 feet high, a towering colossus among its peers worldwide. This monumental edifice, a mecca of innovation, supports launch, integration, and the daring catch of the Super Heavy Booster. This daring ballet involves a celestial waltz. The towering arms, akin to cosmic titans, hoist and assemble the starship upon Super Heavy, a celestial union before flight. As the two stages part ways in the cosmos, Super Heavy gracefully returns, its engines roaring, slowing the descent before the titan arms, guardians of return, tenderly grasp the booster, preparing it for its next cosmic sojourn. Alongside this cosmic choreography, the Star Factory's genesis thrives, an industrious beacon within Starbase's cosmic tableau, birthing multiple starships weekly. Employment blossoms with over 1,800 minds fostering innovation, propelling Starbase to become the region's paramount employer. This cosmic dance transcends the skies, nurturing countless jobs, enriching the spirits of the Rio Grande Valley. In the year 2023, Starbase witnessed a breathtaking taking spectacle, or should I say, spectacles, observing the awe-inspiring launches of two of the world's most powerful rockets. Visiting Starship launches at Starbase, people were filled with awe, excited about the futuristic-looking rockets set to soar into space within days, anticipating a new era of space travel. We're here to witness history, Lauren, a viewer, 
expressed. I want to be able to tell the story of how I was here when it all happened years from now. Witnessing rocket stages being stacked isn't an everyday sight. Usually, sections are assembled in towering structures like NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building, or the VAB, in the weeks leading up to a launch. Therefore, seeing the colossal chopstick arms of the launch tower effortlessly lift Starship to stack it onto its super heavy booster in less than an hour was truly remarkable. For the first time in a generation, people are envisioning a future in space travel. Not since the space shuttle era has the public been so fixated on ventures aimed at exploring the cosmos. NASA, too, is deeply invested in Starship, counting on it to transport astronauts to the moon as part of the Artemis program. This makes Starship crucial for the space agency, essentially making its success imperative. The triumph of Starship is intertwined with NASA's lunar ambitions, and the agency is unwavering in its determination to return to the moon. Ultimately, Starbase isn't solely a Mars gateway for for individuals. It's destined to become a gateway for humanity when the time comes to explore and conquer distant planets. Certainly, the current blueprint involves launching the system from both Texas and Florida, with the latter utilizing KSC's historic Pad 39A. A starbase isn't necessarily a concern for Florida, but it will likely offer a more tailored experience given that SpaceX has full control over its own spaceport in Texas. This colossal rocket isn't limited to conventional missions like satellite launches. Its innovative design has attracted the attention of various organizations. The Department of Defense, for instance, is considering utilizing rockets like Starship to transport troops swiftly to operational zones, potentially revolutionizing transit times. In upcoming missions, Starship and Super Heavy will lift off from Starbase, heading eastward over the Gulf of Mexico to reach orbit before returning to the pad for landing. The versatility of Starship allows it to either deploy a payload to orbit and return for a landing, or venture beyond Earth's orbit toward more distant destinations. Current heavy lift rockets, including NASA's own evolving space launch system, serve diverse objectives. Starship's architecture, with provisions for in-orbit refueling post-liftoff, differs from the SLS, which offers a direct trajectory to its target post-launch from the Kennedy Space Center. In terms of liftoff power and payload capacity to Earth orbit, Starship seems unrivaled at present. Regarding the forthcoming development at Starbase, over the long haul, SpaceX's operations in Texas possess a significant edge over those in Florida, Access. While the KSC and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station divide the Eastern Range and demand specific access credentials, Starbase, under SpaceX's full ownership, stands independent of military bases and federal restrictions. It grants Musk the freedom to institute changes swiftly, fostering fast faster or different modes of production. For adjacent communities like Brownsville, SpaceX's deep-rooted presence is pivotal for their future. SpaceX has certainly elevated Brownsville's profile, emphasized Ramiro Gonzalez, Brownsville's Director of Government and Community Affairs. We're proud to host SpaceX and value the attention it brings. Similar to the trajectory of the Space Coast from the 1960s to the present, Gonzalez pointed out that his community experiences surges in visitors and a steady work workforce supported directly and indirectly by SpaceX endeavors. Launches hold significant importance as visitors often opt for extended stays in case of delays or cancellations. Hotels and restaurants thrive, Gonzalez added. The economic impact from SpaceX employment and visitor influx is tangible and undeniable. However, the rise of Starbase hasn't been without its challenges. Before towering stainless steel rockets dominated the landscape, Boca Chica Village, a small, unincorporated community, housed only a handful of residents. Despite the friction, Starbase has generally been a boon for the area. Brownsville aims to position itself not just as a hub for SpaceX, but for various commercial space companies. Our primary focus is on fostering a commercial space ecosystem. We believe we have several advantages here and are an attractive destination, Gonzalez asserted. The openness of SpaceX facilities and the budding prospect of a company town means a distinct opportunity 
opportunity to craft amenities for future astronauts, space tourists, and officials. Accommodating these groups will be unlike anything witnessed on the Space Coast or elsewhere. We're an inclusive community, Gonzalez emphasized. If you journey to space from here, we'll make it happen. Undoubtedly, this is a gateway to Mars, filled with hope and promise for the future of space exploration. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up today and become a patron to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.